I've had this for a while now and been thinking of doing a review on it, but it wasn't until recently I actually got a little more use out of it. Figured I'd go ahead and do this. Yeah, I really want to give it a fair shake. This is a Goal Zero Nomad 7 solar panel it's a charger, basically. And in the pocket back here, you can see I've got a Guide 10 Plus. They go together pretty well. And it's pretty handy. Uh, you can see on here, maybe. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. I've got a little... It's dirty now. It's got some Moab dust on it. So, let me show you what I've got. Alright. Your uh, Nomad 7. This is just a simple 7 watt. Uh, solar panel here. We'll catch a reflection off that. It's actually really good technology. These panels are nice and tough. If you look at some of the videos that uh, Goal Zero has, they've torture tested these things, run over them, skidded them, skidded out on top of them. These are tough. It's got three ports on the back here in the pocket. The pocket stores all your wires, everything down in here. But you've got a 12-volt port. That one I really haven't found much use for. Really need to research that one a little bit more. Guide 10 Plus is what I usually end up using it for. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you also got your USB. Now USB, you just plug into that. You can plug it directly into your phone, your iPad, your iPod, GPS, whatever you have that charges through USB. That's what this is good for. Now, who needs something like this? If you camp, hunt, fish, boating, anything outdoors where you're in direct sunlight, but you're away from a wall charger, that's what this is good for. I guess if you're an aging hippie that thinks you can save the planet seven watts at a time, this would be good for you as well. But mostly it's just good if you are out, you know, up in the mountains over here. Can't really see them real well from where I'm at, but you can over here. You know, you go up into those mountains, you don't have any way to charge your phone. So, so that's when this is going to come in really handy, if you're up there somewhere. Um, around the house, I haven't found much use for it. The Guide 10 Plus, I have found a good use for that while I'm at work. Okay, so the pros and cons to having a setup like this. Biggest pro is the fact that it does work. If you're up in the mountains, if you're in the middle of the ocean, if you're out in the desert or something, GPS is going dead. This will help you get it going again. You know, get you back to civilization where we all really want to be in the long run. Well, I don't, but where most of us want to be. The cons to it are the cost, of course. For the setup that includes both the Nomad 7 and the Guide 10, it's over $100. You're never going to recoup that. You're not going to save enough electricity to recoup that cost. It's just not going to happen. Even if you use it every day for a year, you not even close. You know, look up how much it costs to actually charge a phone. Another big problem is this cord. I hate this cord. They really need to sell something a little bit longer so I can get my Guide 10 out of the heat. Yeah, that right there doesn't help anything. Um, that's a minor thing, though. You know, you could always charge the Guide 10 by USB, but it's going to take twice as long to do it. Um, you know, that's basically it. It's good to have if you're out there getting out and about. If you're a couch potato, you don't like going anywhere, you just want to sit on the couch, think you're going to save the planet by getting this. Just keep on plugging into the wall. Actually look up how much it costs, how much electricity you're using. You're not using much. So, it's just my two cents. It's what I think of this. It's a good product. But, you know, make up your own mind. Do your own homework.